guys, Ranger Collector 62492 here with another vlog. Um, a few things. Uh, I'm obviously going to, you know, mention yesterday's episode of Power Rangers Super Mega Force. And there's a lot of things I want to mention that was announced through the fandom. Uh, actually, one of them quite recently, not even five minutes ago, I found out. So, um, yeah, first off, let me go ahead and go over my thoughts for the new episode. Uh, the episode was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, Jungle Fury was, uh, enjoyable the second time I watched it. At first, I wasn't really that big of a fan of Jungle Fury. So, um, when I recently finished watching it a second time, I actually quite enjoyed it. So, obviously being a newcomer and in someone who enjoyed Jungle Fury not too far off from when this episode was aired, um, I was actually quite thrilled to see what uh, Casey would be like after so uh, many years since Jungle Fury. So I saw um, a lot of potential in the episode. Now, a lot of people have complained that his screen time was kind of a jip. I know a lot of people think, well, he could have been more developed into the story a little bit more, but how much more can you develop a character that's already been developed in its own season? Which... Makes no sense. This is why I hate a lot of the fans that don't really look into the way they argue a topic. It's It seems like they don't know what they're talking about. Now, what I mean is you have what is a 21-minute episode, you know, minus the nine minutes of... Um, you know, commercials and stuff. It's it's originally 21 minutes long. And you have already five characters developing into their own characters to make a story, while this guy is just a cameo. That's all it is. A cameo. And it's really a breath of fresh air seeing other actors from past seasons come in. I think last week... No? Was it the week before? We saw... Um, maybe I'm wrong. No? Yeah, it was last week. We got to see uh, Jaden come back. So, um, yeah, he was... Uh, he That was an exciting episode, too. So, there was a lot of good development in that story because Jaden, you know, had a purpose there. He had a reason to be there. So, with this episode, um, Casey, you know, taught Jake and Emma how to use the Order of the Claw style, where they use their animal spirits to fight. So that is um, my honest opinion about it. It's, an, it's a really good episode, and I think it was well worth watching. Um, now, I do want to mention, because we're on the topic of Super Mega Force, next week was supposed to be the episode, The uh, Silver Lining, which is a two-parter. And we just found out recently, uh, actually yesterday, that it's not going to be next week, it's going to be the week after. So we are not going to be seeing a new episode this upcoming week, unfortunately. It always seems to happen when there's a major storyline fixing to happen in the show. Last time I got so pissed off was because of um, Fight Fire with Fire, the episode in Samurai when Jaden's sister is in it. So, yeah, I felt really, really disappointed, especially because of the you know, the holidays, and then wanting to push forward the Halloween episode, but enough of that. That's another story. Um, now, other things happened this week I was really um, pleased to hear. Uh, a lot of people have asked me if I heard about Austin St. John's comeback to the fandom. Uh, yes, obviously I'm going to hear something like that. That's some big news. My opinion is very, very, I'm very excited about it. If I ever go to conventions publicly more than the one I've already went to, which was just my first appearance was at Ranger Stop, I would love to go to other conventions. His first convention is in Florida. His first convention since 2010, at least. He's supposed to be, no, it's actually, it was in 2007 that he did this convention, but, you know, he's going to be at a convention. That's, that's all it can be said. He's, a really requested um, actor to appear at conventions. He's the iconic Red Ranger, the first Red Ranger, and he well, he's really well liked in the fandom. So maybe our response to him wanting to come back made him. You know, Amy Joe's coming back because fans demand it. But uh, 
yeah, that's that's really good news, and I'm excited about that. Um, one thing that I do really want to talk about, even though I am not that big into Sentai, something that I really found interesting about this, uh, is it Kyrioja versus, no, no, yeah, it's Kyrioja versus Go Buster. Uh, they're going to be putting, oh, it ain't Go Buster, what is it? Kyrioger, Auburanger, and um, Zoo Ranger. Someone said it was Kyrioger and Go Buster, but um, yeah, I heard that the guy that's uh, used to play the Red Zoo Ranger back in uh, back when Zoo Ranger aired is coming back, and the morpher they used was the Legacy Morpher from America. The um, diecast one, so they re repainted it, re sculpted, or not re sculpted, and re applied stickers to match what you know in Japan. So it was really interesting to see that they used our morpher for their uh prop on the team up movie. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to actually see that. I want to see what they would do with that. Um, but another thing, um, just so we can end it right here. Uh, I the thing that I found out quite recently is everybody's now finding out about it. Miss Karen Ashley, who played um, who played Aisha Campbell in Power Rangers, she uh, just recently got married. So I want to say congratulations to Karen Ashley for getting married. So, um, but that is all I can say about this week in general because there's nothing exciting going on this week for some reason. I feel like the Day, the week has just gone by so slow. It could be because I was expecting something in the mail and it just didn't come. That's probably why. I'm bored out of my mind. So, um, But the guy did have it returned to him, so he's resending it, and I should get it like Wednesday or Thursday. So he's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting that. So um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you guys didn't see at the beginning, I got a new intro I threw together so it's like a 20 30 minute intro so or 30, not 30, 30 second intro so um just pretty lengthy but I'd like to incorporate all my past things that like my accomplishments for this uh the series I'm doing on YouTube so but anyway guys yeah I'll uh, talk to you guys later don't forget to subscribe and I will be back soon